I was scrolling on TikTok getting my daily brain rot and past all the skibbity toilet baby gronk Ohio wrist that got phantom taxed by a level 10 guy at, I saw this video. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> I saw this video of two rear shaking his damn hips yet again. And I immediately got PTSD from last year when he did what he did in the cypher for the 2023 freshman double XL list. When I saw the video, I was like, huh, I wonder where all the rest of these guys are. We're about four months away from a full year since the last class was announced. And I thought it would be a cool idea to see where everyone has actually been since this came out. Had they fallen off, even though it hasn't been that long, you know, just a quick analysis. A series I would like to start doing on this channel every year is that we check on the double XL freshman list of the previous year a year later. We're gonna see if it was a good idea to basically pick them or not. We're not gonna go too far in depth, by the way. I'm not about to analyze their entire career into the ground. It's pretty easy to tell if someone's career is doing okay or not, at least for me. I know, not that original, but I mean, I don't know. I do it in private. We might as well do it together. All right, so honestly, we're gonna go in order of the people that I actually like. All right, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Honestly, there was one person I was glad was there, and there's a few valid picks that made sense. I mean, with one YouTube search with Central C, it's pretty obvious this man has a really good career, like probably one of the best careers out of all of his classmates. Literally nothing on his official YouTube channel has under a million views. He's clearly doing his thing. He did an on the radar freestyle with Drake while Drake was doing his stupid fucking accents you know drake just being drake as usual the thing about central c that i think some of you may not understand is that as a non-american artist their fan base just seems to go way crazier for them and seeing as i'm not from the uk i can't speak from the perspective of someone that lives over there but they seem to go really hard for their artists like it's not like america where a new person pops up every single week central c is killing it right now as expected though shout out to him definitely a valid pick tia corinne not Kareen, because I was so embarrassed to watch that clip of her explaining how to say her name and realize I was saying it wrong this whole time. Tia Kareen, I actually had high hopes for it because I wasn't familiar with her work until that cover. But after seeing her interview and her freestyle and something else, I got pretty invested. I also just heard a snippet between her and Rob Banks, and I was like, yo, I was ready for it. I don't know if y'all know by now, but Rob Banks was probably my top three not two or three anyway hearing some of her ep she definitely is branching her sound out very far from that freaky t bullshit i still hate that song i don't care with pierre born beats in a neil world placement which was really cool to hear she's doing her thing right now and shouts out to her for finally bringing me a latyler verse that i uh did not immediately cut off on their song young jock i think Whatever. They both spazzed on that song. I think Tia Corinne is definitely a pretty valid pick. All right. Now we got to get to the rest of them. Yay. They now go in no particular order, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Not saying they're trash, except for some of them. Uh, but I got a lot of hate for not necessarily liking Sleazy World Go's music. So I decided to revisit it for this video because maybe I was blindly hating, even though, even I, though wasn't. I wasn't. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, that shit still stands. I'm just not really a fan, but this is about where they are now, so I'll keep my opinion to myself. I typed Sleazy World Go on YouTube and saw he had a video with almost 500,000 views from less than a month ago. I was like, sheesh. Okay, Sleazy, good stuff. Yeah, that was until I took a closer look at the comments. Authentic views in Sleazy World are a match made in heaven. Best song on the album. Huh? For those of you who might be none the wiser, Authentic Views is a website where you can basically buy YouTube views for your channel or your video, you know, or get custom written comments. Check out the Island Boys. <laughs> Remember them promoting this website, right? I'm talking about Authentic Views. Com. Go support them Island Boys. Love y'all. Yeah, man. Yeah. So that's what I think is going on here, but let's keep going. Now to the regular eye, these two comments might not seem too suspicious, but look at their names. See how they kind of look similar? Yeah. yeah. I mean, this the sleazy we know. Ha, this hard. From Jaffer Dia whatever Jr. 2694. And then this beat go hard, bruh. Emmanuel Victor 7572. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here's another one, and I don't know about y'all, but I personally don't think Caden Cardenas5268 is saying, hold on, this shit different. You can call me a hater, cool, whatever. But I have a feeling whoever is writing these comments from these different accounts is the same person. But I digress. Fake views and comments aside, he seems to be doing his thing from what I can see on his channel. Albeit, if it's a little inconsistent with 3 million views here, 300,000 there, but hey, he's doing his thing. And shit, I don't fake my channel views, and my channel sometimes it does that. So what do I know? He's apparently going on tour with Offset as well, so he's fine, man. Good stuff, I guess. Too rare. Uh, no. Okay, finesse two times. Now I'm fully aware that this man has his fan base, so I'll tread lightly here and just say that finesse two times has actually really been doing his thing. Like, the man kind of goes crazy. Are there a lot of songs I dislike? Yes. Are there some songs I like, though? Yes. Sure. Almost 800,000 subscribers at the time of me recording this video. Most of the videos have millions of views. He's doing something right. Honestly, the more I listen to him for this video, the more I actually kind of like his music now. It's not not really my taste but his songs are genuinely catchy and his voice fits right over the type of beats he gets on i'm the king you a pun <laughs> that shit's actually stuck in my head shouts out to him though i knew he was definitely gonna be doing big things when some of my IRL friends that are normies were listening to him before he even got on the cover he just has that street type of energy that's super marketable to a lot of people especially here in the south it's good to see that memphis has really been coming up heavier like i really feel like memphis hasn't had that super global push that like Atlanta or LA has had so it's kind of cool to see it you know more on the map lately all right so I know you guys remember this video from last year that I made no way you know it's funny in this very moment i felt like raven from that so raven and i immediately saw the future that this man was not about to go nowhere and my god was i wrong while making this video it definitely made me understand that just because i don't hear about somebody does not mean that they're not doing good i'm not trying to hate on this man but at the same time i was listening to his music like yeah i give this two months if that but i was wrong like i said right now friday is going super crazy and unlike sleazy i don't think these views and comments are botted i think he's really tapped into a market that isn't spoken about too often which is that new wave gospel slash r b sound that not too many artists get into i can't help but respect that so friday I genuinely apologize for thinking that you weren't going to last and thinking that you suck. He's definitely doing his thing, even if I find his music annoying. Glorilla. Oh, <laughs> Glorilla is... Uh, oh, man. I think she started rapping in 2016, right? But she didn't blow up until like two or three years ago. God, time moves fast. I really don't want to talk about her too much, but I need to actually put emphasis on why I just don't like her. But didn't you just not talk about Tuber because you don't like him? Can you shut your mouth? I'm making a video here. Like, like, I can't just say it and not explain it. Her lyricism needs so much work, it's not even funny. Usually, I don't care too much for the lyricism either. Like, I've been more of a this sounds good kind of guy. Although, I do enjoy decent lyrics or just ones that aren't terrible. terrible. Quote, been making money, I ain't trying to make friends. And if you dig, you got to stand on that. Ain't making amends on the gang. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Uh 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 on the gang again by the way it's just something i'm not particularly getting when people say i like glorilla that's cool it's just not for me like not even remotely at all do i think she deserves to be on this list absolutely because she's the epitome of what rap can be sometimes just fun maybe not for me in particular you know in fact anytime i hear her music i feel like my life gets cut shorter but fun for the girls you know She's a real bad bitch or whatever, cool. Not to me, I don't wanna talk about her anymore. Oh my God. LaTyler, um, man, I think for once on my channel, I'm not actually gonna say what I really wanna say, but what I will say is LaTyler is absolutely killing it right now, especially for a kid that's so young. Like, I think this kid's only like 18 or 17 or something like that. The one thing I really do like about Tyler, you know, other than him being from Florida, is that with the right amount of skill and push, Tyler is proof that you can literally become a well-known artist at any 
age, even if you're not a Nepo baby. I think that's honestly one of my favorite things about hip hop, just is how literally anyone can get a big look. Like, think about it. Look at Lil RT. That little nigga needs a whooping, and yet he's making more money than I probably am. Shit's crazy. So shout out to Lil Tyler, man. Like, these kids making all this money and coming up and going crazy and going on tour, I think it's really cool. Shouts out to him. I think he was definitely a valid pick for sure. Lola Brooke. No. Rob 49. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Man, <laughs> I was hating on this dude at one point, but it seems like everything he's dropped recently has been like spazzing. Like, uh, Houston Girls, I think. That song is crazy. So, this is the, you know, I, I swallow my pride. Rob 49 is kind of crazy. Shouts out to him. He was definitely a valid pick. Uh, I think he just dropped a song with Wayne, which is, which is great, but so did Yeet, and that shit wasn't that good. So, I don't know. Uh, but shout out to Rob 49 man he he definitely deserved to be on this list for sure and last but not least at all dc the don now i really haven't heard much about dc the don in a while but i'm aware that his fan base is super massive like he's not super in the media as of late but he's been killing it as far as like the spot he's in if that makes sense this may not be right to say but i don't see him as being like in the mainstream mainstream like with the yeets and the drakes and the you know like that mainstream i see him as more of like a like a 24k golden type of mainstream if that makes sense but i'm happy he made it onto the list i think today he's evolved past what he was at one point before like his music definitely takes a lot of turns and it's changed for the better with for him and his fan base i mean dude has been nominated for awards so he's clearly doing something right shouts out to him though I still don't like his music though. So overall, mostly everybody deserved to be on there except for a certain person. Uh, if you enjoyed this video though, leave a like, I love you. Join the server in the description. It would really mean a lot to me. And also follow my Instagram. I haven't been plugging my Instagram, bro. Like I'm trying to actually get to like 20K this year on Instagram. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm gonna try my best. Anyway, I'm UVXCX, later.